What's the tea, everybody? Today is Friday, and Fridays are always a drag. And today we're doing George's look from her promo look for RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season 9. And that's what you got. So if you guys don't know me, I'm Elena. I usually do makeup reviews, tutorials, drag makeup looks, celebrity impersonations, and face paint, you name it. Just check it out later. I was on Painted with Raven Season 2, available on Wild Presents Plus right now. So let's get her into this tutorial and follow me on social media if you like. All the links are down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and Let's get into it. So, let's paint George's look. <laughs> so, I got some blue, just some something. The color is exactly the same. There is no other resemblance, as usual, anyway. So, I did some foundation. I just use a combination of uh, Smashbox Cosmetics Foundation, always on, and the Lancome Foundation just for the sake of colors, because my self tan washed off and I don't want to make myself too orange right now. So this is it. So just a base. I'm using kimchi concealer. We're going to start highlighting. I put a little bit around my eyes already. I mean, there's nothing groundbreaking about using me applying concealer. It's all about the shapes and the starter shape. And as far as I can see, Georges is not the one to contour deeply or like a lot of chicken and forehead. It's mostly all about the blush. When you look at George's face, it's the blush up to the eyeball <laughs> and the Rudolph reindeer nose. <laughs> yes, I read her, but it's kind of cute, but it's kind of like almost a little bit too much because it literally looks like uh, she's got some flesh heating disease on the nose. <laughs> I just have to be shady. But I do like to put blush on the tip of my nose, even without drag, just like regular makeup. It's cute. But of course, since it's drag, she really goes to town. He's in the most concealer in white and adding a little white in the middle, as usual. I'm running low, but I do have a backup but I want to use this one up because this this is the best white concealer period and if you haven't tried it you got to try it kimchi chic the most concealer in solid white is the tits I mean I don't have a lot of other options but I've tried the cheaper options and they were not it this one is solid coverage it's I mean it's solid white they're not shitting you So I decided to do eyebrows now. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I like to do eyebrows somewhere between the foundation and the powder. And because, I mean, once the powder is on, it's hard to remove stuff. So I'm just using Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Wiz, and this is medium brown. I probably, as usual, like to darken them after all the makeup is set, and I still I like all the shapes, and I don't have to like play with anything. But for now, we're just gonna sketch. I mean, her eyebrows, I'm just looking at the screenshot. Of course, I'm doing the promo look, as you know, but eyebrows similar to what I usually do when I do like my own drag like without impersonating anyone I think this eyebrow is high this eyebrow always comes out higher than the other one always but that's why we do this while everything is still wet and not set so we can remove something So I even them out more or less. I mean, this is painstaking, so I like to do it off camera because, as I always explain, our eyes and faces are asymmetrical. Nobody is. So I know that on my face, one eye is higher than the other. My left one is higher, and my right one is lower. So I always try to overcompensate and, and create a whole kind of problems. Anyway, we're gonna do just, just a basic contour, blend it real well because you don't really see a lot of contour on her so she like blends it into real subtle and the face she's got skinny face so yay I'm lucky finally somebody got skinny face I'm so shady 
well, from last week, I actually did manage to make my, myself look a little chunky, like Roxy Andrews. And somebody on Instagram commented, it's like Roxy Andrews on a Zempic. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was a little shady, but funny. All right, just a, a regular basic chin strap and so on and so forth. So if you can't blend as well, that's why I don't really like to draw the line usually. Usually I like to put the product on a brush or on a sponge, but when I do drag, it's like I kind of just go for it, but it's harder to blend. So I like to do this. I put the sponge right over the counter stick and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills, of course. And no, I did not get this from Painted with Raven. They didn't give us counter stick. I wish they did. I mean, they gave us a lot of SHAT. But this one is my purchase. I heard how great it was and I love Anastasia makeup. So I got myself my own mink counter stick and this is like, it's good. I love it. So you see, it blends easier when you put product right directly on a sponge or you can use the brush, so it's the same effect. And it's always smoother and blended better. So for the nose contour, actually, I'm gonna go into lighter color. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this and a little bit of a Bio Vault Aesthetica palette. Most people probably have never heard of that brand, at least me. I got it in BoxyCharm a while ago, and it's like a small indie brand, I think, but the palette is good. See, I panned a lot of colors, and I cracked them here, all right? <laughs> Don't know how I did that, Don't ask me. So I kind of mixed a little bit of lighter tones in there, too. And we're gonna do... It's just pretty much just a straight line. There's not much to it. Two straight lines of light in the middle. And I'm gonna paint the white in the middle. I mean white, the light, light line. Everything is going to be emphasized with the powders, of course. I like to blend with my fingers. I'm not wearing nails. My fingernails are taking a break. I used those uh, press-on nails from Walmart after I ripped off my acrylics. <laughs> Long story. When we lived in Huntington Beach, I had a good specialist for acrylics. And when we moved, I kind of got lazy and uh, didn't find a new person and so I just removed them and then I started to put those press-ons and destroyed my nails so now I mean they're sore so I'm gonna take a long break and I think we got somebody here oh yep we got Mimi Mimi came to say hello Mimi say hello to the audience yeah my sweet little girl take a good break and enjoy the baby oh she's purring <laughs> All right, I want to go. Oh. Mimi is going to be checking out the lip, lip liners and we're going to continue with the nose contour. She better not eat my lip liners. I have three cats if you wonder. If you're new to this channel, they're always going to be cats, always. So there you go. And they're all named after drag queens. This one is uh, Michelle Visage. See, she's got white on the side of her face. So it's like a white streak. So she's Mimi, Michelle Visage, Mimi, yeah. She's a good girl. Anyway, <laughs> regardless. So let's go on. Let's be powder off camera because, I mean, nobody wants to see that. We're gonna bake and continue with contour. Contour and then bake. And the blush, I'm probably gonna do it at the end. I like to do blush after the eye makeup. Powder contour with Skin G. And this is 03 Chocolate. I kind of mix the two colors together because this one is maybe a little too deep for more of a subtle look, but you see, it comes out very dark. So you can kind of uh, fix it with a sponge. And by the way, I still use Tati Beauty Blendiful. It's a little ripped and a little bit old, but I love that stuff. It's like, I'll never give that up. <laughs> I love that Blendiful. I bet there are other products like that, but why not? Why not keep using it? All right, same with the nose, same kind of thing. Just reinforcing the same contour lines. All 
All right, so we baked and I did something here. I started with the shape. Now that I'm happy with the shape, we're gonna go to this eye. It's funny how this works. I go through like all my palettes, like high-end palettes over here, and I start with Beverly Hills pretty much and uh, Be Perfect. And then I'm like, that's not the right blue. That's not the right blue. Bam, blue hands. Blend body always has the right shade of everything. <laughs> We're gonna be working with this, this, maybe slightly of this. I don't think she had any black. I'm like, I zoomed in a lot on her look. Uh, so mostly this blues and white, that's very much it. It's kind of simple, like I, I see the other queens doing this trend. I think it was Chanel that had this look, like a, a half crease here and half crease gray here and the light in the middle. I think this trend was like trendy a few years ago. <laughs> I guess it's back or something. So we're gonna go to a deeper blue, it's called Chance. I'm gonna start the crease. As you can see, like my old eyebrow tattoo is peeking through. And I hate that. I'm trying to see if I can get this removed, the, 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 last, the, the, the last bit of it, with uh, salt. I heard like the salt method because the laser just won't do anything. So cut the crease, just the basic cut crease, and we're gonna go with taco. I love blend body white, love it, but taco beats it. To be honest, taco is the whitest white and the most opaque, even better than blend bunny. And this is sugar pill, of course. I mean, they're very similar, but I think taco is a little better. So we're going to continue with the same deeper blue uh, shade chins and put it in the waterline and waterline and a low lash line. The waterline is going to be white, as far as you can see, and she doesn't put the eyeliner all the way in the inner corner, the black one. Like the black top line starts like about here and then goes up, and at the bottom she puts like a, a like here the low low lash line, but not the upper, you know. So it's which is kind of interesting, it gives it a little bit of a triangle, tilted up, I think. I think it gives that effect, which is very smart. I love George's makeup. It's very polished, very cute, and very unique with that pink nose. So I did the kind of a basic eyeliner, just a winged eyeliner, and I stopped here. And once I apply the high lashes, it's not gonna be like a obvious gap. I don't know why she doesn't draw it all the way in, but I believe for the same reason I don't like to make the inner corners too dark because I don't like my eyes to appear too close together because my eyes tend to kind of appear too close, I don't know. But I like that and we're gonna do the just the inner corner. So I brushed off the bake and now it's time for the blush. And of course, I'm gonna go for Mercedes for Kim Chi Shake Beauty for the pink shade. And that's intense. And her blush is intense. So that's like perfect match. I wonder if that's what she was using. I don't know if she uses Kim Chi, but look, you just press it on and it's like bam. I kind of like it. Usually I say, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. And then I end up liking everything. Is there a chin? I'm not sure, but I put some. But now we're gonna take a small brush. We're gonna go ham on the nose because the nose must happen. I'll take a small eyeshadow brush and let's do this. So if you wonder what I do with my eyelashes, Georgia's wears a lot of those spiky, PC eyelashes, not necessarily like the biggest ones. 
I mean, these are pretty big, but they're not stacked. It's just one pair. I'm not sure if hers is stacked, but in promo look, it doesn't look too, too big. So these are from Amazon. If you look for like um, a three centimeter eyelashes, just type in uh, fake eyelashes, like three centimeter and a lot of these pop up. And this is super cheap. I mean, it was like, how many pairs are here? Uh, 20 pairs, 20. See, uh, I've gone through them and this like this package, I don't know, it was like two years old. <laughs> I mean, you don't go through them that fast and they last you forever. And I mean, these are insane. So I took these and I cut off like a big chunk because George's doesn't go all the way in. So I cut it off and I did a little point cut. I literally have a uh, little scissors here. And I point cut in a corner, not on me. Sometimes I do it on myself. <laughs> But mostly, I just sit there with eyelashes and a point cut. So it, the inner corner is a little shorter because these, uh, I mean, they're like spiders and they go all the way up here. And I like the inner corner to be shorter. You know, I mean, just personal preference. But in this case, I would prefer that. So that's the eyelashes. Now we're going to do a little gem and the lips. So all right, it's time to do the lip liner. I just found some random lip liner, Laura Geller. Not sure where I got it from, probably BoxyCharm. I just go in with a deeper shade and then we'll get a ombre hit so it's not as dark. Her lips are pinkish color, kind of matches this, but more of a neutral shade. It looks different in every picture on Instagram video. There's a video and there is a series of pictures. So I'm going by video and pictures. And she overlies like the tip of the lip or, or a lot. What do you call it? Cupid's bow? For the lipstick, I'm going with Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's a little too purple, but you know, with a work, the magic with some more layers on top. I always layer stuff. And she's here. <laughs> George is from RuPaul's Drag Race. All Star Season 9. Yes, with a ratchet wig on. The wig never matches. You better get used to it. <laughs> we got what you got from Amazon. I drew the hairline with the water activated paint. My Midas Cosmetics. Because this wig is a lace front, but the lace is like this little. <laughs> and it's old. It's bad. So I was considering throwing it away, but you know, I can use it for illusions. And didn't just did the little widow's pick. Uh, George's wig, like, you've seen this look, so, see? It's kind of like a widow's pick here, and it's a real, real nice hair line. That wig, top notch. I wouldn't be surprised that was a human hair wig. Looks like a human hair wig. Anyway, regardless, we did the fake, the house, the boots, as usual. Uh, the gem was the teardrop. I actually kind of zoomed in and... I have one of these actually and the lipstick I ended up fixing because the color was off so this is L'Oreal Le Coral Irreverent um, one of those soft lipsticks and I put some concealer on top to make it lighter so it came actually a perfect match to the nose of the cheek now it's very nice so yeah, so the brown contacts, if you can see, they're a little enlarging. I wish they were not enlarging because they kind of gives you a little different look, but that's the only brown contacts I have. Uh, <laughs> I love it, she always does that. <laughs> Except I can't do that because my nails are ratchet. And I don't have blue gloves. I wish I had gloves to match this. I mean... So let me know what you guys think. And this is the second time I do George's. I did her during her season, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was her season. And that was a pretty good George's, actually. <laughs> and this is the second time. So leave me a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And ring the notification bell so you get notified of all new videos I upload. Follow me on social media if you like. All the links are down in the description box. So thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next fabulous video.
Bye.